there's a lot of things about this project, Rock for Raider, that I feel um, people are going to connect with. Rock Raider, number one shop innovator. Rock, 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 rock Raider. Rock, 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 rock. I want you to put your hands together now. Rock, 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 rock Raider. It's been two and a half years now that the turntable is community, the DJ community, the music community has lost an important person. I want you to put your hands together now. Rock Raider was one of the most creative turntablists. And I wanted to do my part to continue his legacy. And what better way than through his music? Rock for Raider is a collection of songs that Rock Raider either scratched on, produced, or battle style routines of his. I want you to put your hands together now. There's also tracks on there featuring uh, Big L, DJ Premier, Dilated Peoples from LA. Executioners, Total Eclipse, Mr. Sinister, and DJ Precision came through and did their favorite Rock Raider routines. And that for me is like one of the highlights of the project. Rock Raider, number one shop innovator. And it's also, I'm taking some samples that he used on production and introducing the original song. You'll see the wonder and the joy life brings. And then transitioning into the way Rock Raider flipped the sample, like Time's Up by OC, whether it was a scratch or a baseline loop. This is like an experience, you know, and, and when you open the album, you'll see the meaning that each song has. Rock Raider produced a track for the Jungle Brothers called How You Want It, and um, towards the end of the song, I flip Mike G saying, I love the way my DJ rocks. And I flip those words and made it say, I love my DJ rock Raider. You know what I mean? And, and I got to kind of speak to Raider without opening my mouth. I got to speak to him through my scratches. I managed to find lost interviews with a guy named John Carluccio. And I was able to use pieces of, of, of these interviews as a way to narrate the album. So you actually hear from Raider himself. Do like some of the X-Men, like say, yo, try this. Yeah, that's what, that's what the X-Men is about, helping each other out. We all just sit together and be like, okay, Joey has a cut off this record, maybe you could do his cut and do something else with that. And we just build off of that. If I'm the only one who feel my routine is tight, and Rob is like, yeah, it's, it's all right, but maybe you need to change this. And don't do this so long. I know it'll always be something I'm overlooking that Rob ain't. This album, I, I'm, I'm really excited about it, man. And, and I feel that people are gonna not only get some great music, some solid hip hop and some creative DJing, they're gonna be exposed to a personal side of, of Rock Raider you don't really get to see or hear. And it sums everything up about Rock Raider, the X-Men, the Executioners, and, and what we've accomplished and how much Rock Raiders is, is missed. But I think the most important thing about Rock for Raider is just that the, the proceeds of the album are gonna go to Rock Raider's family. So um, it's, it's a heartfelt project and, and I'm really excited for the fans to check it out. Hey yo, I should've been out. I'm deadly when I pull the pin out. Keep fronting, I'ma try your 
Bill's chin out. I knocked a lot of men out. I left them on the floor, spitting flim out. It's either that or I'ma squeeze the gat and pop.